Hello friends, today we're going to be creating a DAO using the Sputnik DAO. So DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organizations and they are the next frontier of Web 3.0. So it empowers any community to get together and organize governance. Sputnik DAO is the cornerstone DAO solution for NEAR. So at the moment, DAOs serve as a treasury. You can hold funds in there and anyone in the community can put forward a proposal to request funds. The Sputnik DAO, as most components of the NEAR stack, is highly composable. So if you are a developer and you're looking at building components that plug into DAOs, you can come and check out all the documentation. To launch our own DAO, for the Silicon Craftsman Guild, we shall be creating, but first we need to sign in. So I'm signing in with my personal account, which will be used to fund the DAO initially. Authorize access. So the main Sputnik fund page lists all the DAOs that have been created. At the moment, we just want to create a new DAO. So our DAO will be the UX is near DAO. So I've chosen UX is near as a standard handle or name because it's really easy to type and easy to remember. There is a surprising level of complexity <laughs> in typing out craftsmen. Even I struggle to type it quite often. So we will be using UX is near dot Sputnik DAO dot near as a contract address. When people send money, it will go to UX is near dot Sputnik DAO dot near. And that reduces the chance of it going to the wrong address. So enter purpose, Silicon Craftsman, Product and User Experience Guild, DAO to fund community initiatives that advance the guild's mission and vision. Nope, we wrote mission twice. Advance is the word we can't spell it today. Fantastic. And the council refers to the account or accounts that will be able um, to vote to approve proposals. At the moment, it will be just me. However, we will be expanding the guild council. So to add or remove council members it is the same as having a proposal to add to approve funds. So anyone who is interested in becoming council member, um, send me a message. There's a few configurations here. There's a bond that people pay to avoid spamming. So let's just keep the bond super low. I'll just do one. Enter the vote period in hours. 160, <laughs> 168 hours is... So 168 hours is seven days. That seems reasonable. And the last thing we have to come... The parameters that we have to add is how much money we want to transfer to the DAO. So I'll be funding initially from a personal account. So I'll just start with 15 year, which should get us going. From now onwards, the Near Foundation Community DAO should be funding us to fund community initiatives. So it is prompting us to transfer 15 year to the DAO. We click accept. 15 year transferred successfully. We can see how our DAO has been created. Super simple and straightforward. 142 DAOs and that's us. So UX is near dot Sputnik DAO dot near has been created. One near bond, one council member, 15 near in funds. Just quickly show you how it looks like. So if you want to lodge any proposal, you come find us, create new proposal. Payout is if you're asking for money, new council member, remove council member, change purpose, change vote period. So it is pretty basic at the moment, but very soon all near DAOs, basically a DAO will be able to do the exact same as any other near account. So there's a massive element there in composability. We really want to see the developers starting to test what is possible. 
at the moment, you need to go to the governance forum and basically explain what it is that you're asking money for. This really gives us some context to help us make a decision and also a really quick summary over here. And once the proposal has been put through, I vote on it. So as you can see, NIR has created a really powerful infrastructure for anyone to create a DAO. This is just a first step into decentralized governance. But at the moment, we think it is extremely exciting to be able to have treasury funds that can be governed by many people in a decentralized way. All the proposals are public and anyone can get funded for cool initiatives. In the near future, we will be open sourcing the creation of demos and tutorials just like this one. So if you create sick content and you would like to, you would like us to help share it and blast it across the ecosystem and get remunerated for it, most likely this will be the place to go. We will be posting updates on that, so stay tuned.